on the bill, Representative Arms. About four months ago, I had a privilege of entertaining 17 wounded warriors. Um, different things had happened to them. Some of them was they were missing uh, legs, arms. Uh, they had some mental problems. Each one of them said that they wished that we had medical marijuana they, that they could take. So this last week in the paper, and I just got it, it's a Leesville leader, and it shows some of them on the front page here. And I'm gonna read to you what, what they had to say. I also strive to educate and break down stigma and misinformation surrounding medical use of cannabis. There is empirical evidence showing cannabis is effective for both of these issues. Uh, Boniel is a practicing counselor mostly for addiction treatment. Many veterans with chronic pain are prescribed addictive opioid medications. These come from a whole host of issues one being that the body eventually builds a tolerance to opioids. The opioid epidemic is national, uh, on a national scourge, said Landry. He went through two back surgeries and started on a 20 year odyssey with pain meds. Landry turned to alcohol when his prescribed opioid drugs no longer remedied his chronic pain. He has since discovered legal hemp based oils and bombs which have greatly effect on the pain. I had no life on opiates, Bonio said. The federal government is crashing down and doctors are drastically reducing opioid dosages. I'm gonna cut this short, but what I'm trying to say is that most of the people that I talk to, the veterans plus the wounded warriors that are coming back from overseas that are hurt or are in pain, they would like to see this, this bill passed. And I'm up here to support Ted James's bill, and I hope y'all will too. Thank you.